dolls, and welcome to The Pit Stop. I'm your hostess, Manila Luzon, and today I have a very special guest, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Christmas Spectacular, Eureka O'Hara. <laughs> well, one of the winners, right? <laughs> one of the many winners. <laughs> one of the many, 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 many winners. winners. But where's your crown? Oh, Dora, I didn't get a crown or $100,000. Maybe four <laughs> times a charm. Hey, who knows? How are you? You I'm look fantastic. lovely. What do you think of the season so far? Oh my God, I, I love the season, honestly. I think it's so good. A lot of drama, which is great. You yes. know, I love the drama. Oh, like, it's so, right, so thirsty for it. We are going to get real oh. deep into all the tea. Mama knows, honey, y'all know I like to talk. So, bitch, I got plenty of things to all say. Right. It's going to be awesome. Extra long episode of Pit Stop because we got Yuriko O'Hara here tonight. Right. Well, last week we saw Ariel Sasha away, and uh -huh. now we're down to 10 queens. All the way from 15. I feel like this is going to be a long season. It's going to be a long <laughs> season, especially if Shangela comes back in a box. Oh, yeah, girl. Or they bring me back. <laughs> or knows? you. Or me. Right. We have Evie Oddly back again right mm -hmm. after the elimination, kind of stirring the pot or ruffling feathers. Last week, she got into a little tiff with Raja, and this week, she's getting into it with Silky and Vanjie. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think that Evie is definitely a critic, you know? And I don't know if it's because she critiques herself so harshly that it makes her critique others around her as well. I, I can see her point and kind of being annoyed by the girls who are like, I'm happy with being safe, and I'm just going to be safe all the way to the end. Yeah. And that's not really the reality, right? Right, so right. But I love drama, so Evie's everything to me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I more love dra it. Yeah. More drama. It's time for the mini challenge. Yeah. And RuPaul invites Love Connie to come out and do a little workout routine with all the girls. Girl, not Love Connie, <laughs> honey. That's all throwback. <laughs> At this point, you can see all the girls are trying to show out. We got mm -hmm. splits and dips. slams and dips and Evie starting to flip and twirl and contortionize. Yeah, I can see that the girls are using this little mini challenge to really show off like their performance abilities mm -hmm. and their tricks and all that stuff. Yeah. The girls are thirsty to win. Akira and Plastique win the mini challenge. Did you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I think they both did good. Akira was funny. I like her. I was gagged when Evie started flipping and dipping and, you know, so I kind of liked hers. Um, but yeah, Plastique was good, you know? Well, but I already know Plastique can dance. So yeah. I wasn't shocked. Well, every time Plastique hit the ground, RuPaul's like, oh! Yeah, the whoa, girl. Whoa! I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of why I was glad Akira won, too. It shows that you don't have to do all that. Mm -hmm. You know, that personality and fun. And I thought Nina was really funny, too. Now it's time for the Maxi Challenge. It's the first ever International Drag Olympics. Ooh! So now we have two teams who have to perform a mm -hmm. freestyle floor routine. Oh, my God. With voguing, with fanography, uh -huh. and sublamming. Girl. So as the mini challenge winners, Akira and Plastique are now the team uh -huh. captains. So we have Tuck Pantasan, which is the curious team, uh -huh. and she picks Brooklyn, Silky, Evie, and Sugar. And then Team Glamazonia. Yeah. Plastique, Raja, Vanjie, Nina, and then picked last, Miss Scarlet. Poor Scarlet. She can't catch a break. <laughs> Scarlet and Nina are having a hard time with the choreography. I would feel a little pressure and insecurity from being picked last as well. And she knows she's not really a dancer. I think she's definitely probably beating herself up a lot. I don't really necessarily worry about Nina. And I also know Nina, you know? I think she's a performer, period. So she might not be the best at choreography or she might not be getting it right now, but the bitch is a hard worker. So I know she's gonna show up tomorrow and know it. Then a curious team, a curious actually not on the struggle good. yeah bus bitch you have all this confidence you have this great team you're being an incredible leader and then all of a sudden you're over here and you know you're everything up girl what's going on silky isn't doing so well on her team she's doing her best though bitch i ain't mad look at that booty sweat <laughs> <laughs> she is sweating in her panties bitch she is working her ass off evie's starting to she's got all the tr she's got all the tricks oh. and the flexibility but no. she's been pushing herself a lot and she's starting to feel the wear and tear. So I kind of applaud her for speaking up and being honest about it. I just hope she's able to push through and slay. You know, I don't know, it scares me. 
But yeah, I'm a little more triggered than most. <laughs> so I know all about injuries. So I just think she needs to be careful. Okay, so let's break down these Drag Olympics performances. Okay. Let's start with Team Tuck Pantastan's floor team with Team Tuck Pantastan. <laughs> What'd you okay. think of it? I think they're doing great. I think Silky's really nailing it too. I think uh, Akira's looking good. I mean, she's kind of twirling, giving me some booty action. The fans are good. They've all got great personality. Yeah, they really got the fanography. They got the voting. Okay. Section and then they were all dipping, including mm -hmm. Miss Silky, who was oh. able to pop right back up. Well, Miss Silky dipped, and apparently they decided to go with a different choreography routine where she stayed on the ground, but it added more personality in a moment. And I kind of live because, weirdly, even though the focus is on Silky at this moment, you know who I'm looking at? Akira. Ah, she, she stole the show. She's performing the house she down. She stole the show for me. Okay, what about Team Glamazonia? Team Glamazonia is a little more nervous for me. I can mm -hmm. feel the nerves in a couple of the girls. You can literally see the nerves on Vanjie's face before it starts. Nina West is a f fool, and I love every second of it. She's not doing yeah. all the choreography with her limbs, right. but it's all up here in her face. Oh, bitch, her face is dipping and whipping and fan choreographing, <laughs> and bitch, she's snapping a fan with her lips. Bitch, like <laughs> Scarlet was not as I, I don't know what she got a rhythm. Yeah, girl, she's it's white girlitis. I mean, we all know we've been there. But plastique is it's starting to fade into the background, even though she's yeah. doing everything right. You can see that Vanjie and Plastique are getting some decent middle airtime where Plastique could be taking advantage of these moments where I see her just kind of whipping her ponytail and moving on and letting other people take the center stage. So which team do you think had the best performance? Definitely Tuck Pantistan for me. I think they came out and they really slayed it and they set the bar pretty high. Mm -hmm. And when the next team came out, I saw the nerves before I saw anything else, which I didn't see that in the first team as much. At first, I thought the Tux Panistan team was a little sloppy. Yeah. Oh, the overall uh, vibe and energy I got from their team was better than the Glamazonia team. Yeah. Sugar did a good job. I thought that Vanjie did a great job as well. Yeah. I could see like Vanjie's nerves. Uh, she was able to put that energy into a good performance. You can tell like right in the beginning, she was prepping herself for it. So when she went out there, it was like she was in the pageant. Yeah. And she was the lead and these were her backup dancers. Yeah. And I actually kind of forgot about Sugar. I feel like Brooklyn and Sugar were able to kind of like gel everyone so it was a, was like unit and yeah. a team. I think that I'm so used to Brooklyn doing well that I kind of skipped over. Who do you think was a total flop in this challenge? Scarlet and Plastique, I feel, are two that I, f I really saw kind of flop. Really, Plastique? Um, I expect more from Plastique. I know she's an entertainer. I don't want to see these nerves at this point. You need to perform yeah. for your life. Ooh. Enough with the choreography, because I suck at that. So my favorite part of the show is now the runway. Ooh! And Ooh, everyone's bitch. wearing gold. Oh, yeah. Uh, just like Is us? this what you would have worn? Uh, probably not, but <laughs> who was your favorite? My favorite would have to be Akira. I mean, she walked out first out of the gate, bitch, and slayed, had a head start, mm. honey, textures, feathers, rhinestones, beads. The necklace was exquisite. Her hair was golden Gold blonde. blonde. Yeah. It was like nice. With warm. some of highlights and all that mm -hmm. bullshit. Okay, second favorite. Plastique was good, yes. Nina was good, and for me, Evie is always fun on the runway. I loved Plastique. It was stunning. Everything. She just walked out of the fashion show and had the mug to match. Like she said, it was a lot of things. There was there was like a gold helmet, there was gold shoulders, there's gold wings, there's a gold yeah. corset. I, it was a lot, but everything was cohesive and it all fit beautifully together. And it was on the beautiful plastic. So I loved that it was angelic because of the color scheme, but it was a different shape. Mm -hmm. um, like I loved the creative couture wing, um, the shape of the bodice, and then that chain mail skirt. I think Nina West is always funny. She brought me comedy on the runway. I loved it. It's what I'm used to. Stop relying on that comedy gig. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, see, I like sugar. The next feather look would be sugar. For sugar real. with the feather shoulders. And uh, the what's you know, with I the thought, feathers and the gold I, all of a sudden? Well, I'm responding positively to the gold feathers. Who didn't do it for you? Vanjie's not my favorite runway look this week. 
I think there's something going on with her padding, like that that leotard's pushing her pads down, so yeah. I'm getting kind of a funky shape. Coming from last week where we yeah. saw plastique in her Playboy bunny look, I feel like oh, this yeah. one was like the so you, wah, wah, wah. you didn't like Silky's? I didn't like Silky's gold plain, look. It was but... a little plain. It, it had the, the cross yeah. here. Was it religious? Yeah. Was it like a... I mean, I, don't know. I was I I wasn't getting anything from y'all. Know I'm a biased mess because she's the big girl. So for me, she can't do any wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Her look to me wasn't the best look. I think it's that comedy shtick that she does, and it's it's her safety blanket at this point. I want to see more couture, more cohesiveness of fashion. I would just want to see something different. Similar things with Evie Oddly for me. She can come out in a cane, and I still love it because I'm in love with her. Yeah, Evie's look didn't do anything for me today. Really? I, I, I felt for her because she was injured, and then yeah. I'm happy that she was able to get, get a cane, spray paint a gold, so it made it work for her thing. And she was able to sell the garment, even right. though okay. yeah. I wouldn't buy that garment for, to save my life. Anything that Evie is selling, I'm buying right now yeah. because she sells it. So it's time for judging. Team captain Akira wins the maxi challenge. Do you think she deserved it? She deserves to be a winner. She was a great captain. She did great in the routine. She was really the surprise for me. And that gown really Girl. just sealed the deal. Tuck Pantistan is safe. Yeah. But really. that means that Glamazonia is up for elimination. Yeah. And then Rue asked that question that we all dread. <laughs> Girl. <sighs> Who should go home and why? And then all the girls say Scarlett. I mean, I wasn't surprised. I mean, they wanted someone to blame, I think. They felt like she was a weak link from the beginning. Because the last time, no one wanted to blame anyone. They were all just like, we all f***ed up. And then they yeah. all ended in the bottom. So I feel like this team was just like, right. girl, ah, it's her. I think at this point, yeah, the girls are like, oh, we're going to tell the T. This is how we feel. She's the weakest link. The judges decide that Raja is in the bottom for the third time. Wow, yeah. Alongside Scarlett. Do you agree with them in the bottom? <laughs> yeah, out of that team, for sure. I think Raja was very nervous. I think, uh, obviously, Scarlett was the most noticeably bad in the challenge. Um, all of her teammates threw her in as the person that needs to go home. And the crazy thing is, is she kind of agreed with them. I thought that Scarlett has looked the most beautiful she's ever looked in this entire season. Her makeup, her hair, mm -hmm. um, even the little butterfly clips in her hair were pretty. But I can see why the judges yeah. are like, the silhouette is not enough or not like exciting enough. And the same yeah. with and the same with Raja. I mean, she was wearing a gold cat suit and her face was covered up. I think Raja was grasping at straws with like the little face mask to add some couture to it and then adding a ball. Again, the same thing with uh, Scarlet for me as far as her runway. All these little clips and you know the extra hair and the this and the random brooch in the middle of the dress just pinned awkwardly was her again grasping at straws to try to make a simple look as extravagant as you can. So now it's time for them to lip sync for their life. What do you think of their performances? I think they both showed no fear, which mm -hmm. is great. I personally think that Scarlett did better. The ballad part of the song, well, she, no, she's Raja a great... was yeah. slaying it. It looked like she's been performing this song every night. Yeah, girl, she did that for her pageant. I get it. The song is made for her. I expect her to do well at this song. Yeah. You know who I don't expect to do well at this song? Scarlett. Really? <laughs> but you know who actually did well, in my eyes, was Scarlett. She knew she wasn't gonna do well at the song, so she brought the tricks, she pulled everything out, she showed that she wanted to stay. That is the person that I want to stay in a competition. Really? Raja, she showed she wanted to stay too because she gave passion and performance, don't get me wrong. I feel like Raja just had a better grasp on the song and performance well, altogether, even though yeah. she did kind of slip off the stage and fall right off She the slipped stage. off the stage, which I thought was messy. I don't think that that should be looked over. It would have been nice for her to maybe have an extra trick up her sleeve and be like, no, bitch, this is my third time in the bottom. I need to have something. But then you got Scarlett coming, and she hasn't been in the bottom like Raja has, but she's throwing every trick, showing how bad she wants to be there. But, but Scarlett goes home. Bye, bitch. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, girl, I'm not a judge. Do you, th do you think she deserved to go home? I don't want to say that Raja deserved to go home. They both performed well, but I I just liked Scarlett's performance better because it was just fight. I wanted to see her stay. Raja has been in the bottom now three times. Now, she said before that 
Even if she doesn't do well in the challenges, she will slay the lip sync. What mm -hmm. do you think she has to do now to, to not be in the bottom so she don't have, we don't have to see her lip sync until the last episode? Focus on yourself. Sometimes at this point in the competition, when you're in that drama, it really distracts you from the real reason that you're there, girl. Pay attention to the challenge and focus on that. You're letting the nerves of people getting into your emotions and you getting into your own emotions affect your performance. She needs to take that, the, that same passion that she has in her lip syncs and mm. now apply that to the challenges so that she can win a challenge yeah. and she can stay out of the bottom so that the last time she needs to lip sync is in the final. Yeah. Well, that does it for our episode. I want to thank you, Rika. Thank you so much yeah. for coming here. No, it's always a pleasure to work with you, Vanilla, honestly. Aw, thank you. thank you. We'll see you guys next week. Bye! See ya! Hey, squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.